What's going on you guys? Paul here with Paul's Performance and welcome back to the channel. You know, it's been a while, haven't been posting as frequently as we'd like to. I know a lot of you guys out there are really looking for some uh, video, especially of TDI swap and anything else. I got a lot of questions about the single cab shorty. To be honest, I've been really, really busy and I figured, you know what? Let's just do a shop update so you guys can kind of see how hectic it's been around the shop and some of the stuff we got uh, going on. To be honest, I think we're probably gonna start changing up some of our videos. We're probably not gonna do as many just kind of how-tos, like how to change a tire or how to. Probably gonna change it up to a more of a, more of a vlog style. I'm not, I'm not trying to be like a, a vlogger, but just more of just a, what's going on in the shop. We're doing this, we're doing that. It's not, we're, we're probably gonna get away from more of the step-by-step vids and just be a more of what's going on, what we're doing. Um, obviously, I'll still keep, uh, you know, showing you whatever's going on. I just might, you know, I might not be like, well, the torque spec for this bolt is 10 foot pounds. I might skip some stuff. So uh, for those of you who are looking for that, um, we may, we're, we're still gonna do some how-tos, but it's probably not gonna be most of it because it's really hard for me to keep up with considering how much I have going on around here at all times. Just to kind of show you, uh, we're gonna do a walk around of what's going on right now in the shop. And this is only like half speed. This is, this is 50 miles an hour. This, this is slow. So we're gonna get a walk around. I'm gonna show you what's happening in, in Paul's Customs right now. So let's go ahead, let's, let's start outside. Let's, let's start outside. Come on. All right guys, so we're outside Paul's Customs. And you might think, oh, you know, there's his truck. Well, that's very true. Here is the TDI swap right here, sitting right out front. Nothing's wrong with it, it still runs, but it does need the timing belt because it's that time, so I haven't been driving it as much, but uh, I haven't had time to do the timing belt, so right now I just kind of have it sitting here, and I've been driving the other TDI uh, Jetta, um, the Mark V that you guys have seen on this channel, the one that was uh, my girlfriend Lacey's. I've been driving that, and I've had to work on it at least 80 times since I've uh, started driving it, so I haven't had time for much. This is just the start. So, walk this way. We come to right here. What do you see here? This is Samuel's Jetta. And you probably guessed it. He's broken. Just like he does everything else. We'll pop it up. Why not? So if you look under here, you can see stuff's missing. There's our starter here. Um, what has happened is uh, the ring gear on the torque converter has uh, grinded its way into death. Now, it the starter is sticking super bad and it is making a bunch of rattling sounds um, when you start it up along with the starter sticking. So we're gonna have to fix that. And we haven't decided on which way we're gonna fix that yet. We have a few different options. I'm sure you guys already know these options of what we can do to fix this uh, for good and make it much better. But you guys will have to look in for a video because we will have a video on this car once we decide what we're doing. We'll show you guys exactly the entire fix so stay tuned for this one um, but that's if um, we can get this other stuff fixed so if you look behind it as you can see there is a, another truck which is a truck that I had to work on it is a just a customer truck and if you turn your your view this way you can see the problem right here I don't even know if I need to say what's wrong with it it's What's not wrong with it would honestly be a shorter answer. This thing right here, I think stays here more than the actual garage itself. And the garage doesn't move. This thing right here, um, I mean, it might as well become part of the ground here. There's vehicles here that are not even here, um, like that Mark V Jetta that I've been driving. It's not here right now, but I need to work on the Tesla is over there. That's probably the only thing that doesn't need something done to it. And now let's go inside because we got some surprises. All right, so we're inside the shop now. If you look right here, this looks like a foreign object, and that's because it is. This is a Honda Grom. Bet you didn't know I worked on those. I didn't either, but uh, it's here. It had some issues. It was owned by someone that's here in the room, and it was broken. I don't know if you can guess, but it was Samuel. So this is Samuel's new Grom, and uh, we just had to figure out all of the uh, the throttle cable and get the idle adjusted because it was it was running a little rough and having some trouble staying running and cranking back up. So we're, we're a Grom dealership now. If you didn't know that, I was unaware as well. Turn your eyes this way. What do we have here? We have a TDI, yeah, TDI Touareg. This is my girlfriend Lacey's new car. 
It is a TDI 3.0 diesel. She's got it in here. She was cleaning it, um, but also I'm gonna have to work on this because it's due for all the maintenances. And this is a completely different TDI than what uh, a lot of other ones that I work on in here. This one's a lot, uh, a lot different. A really nice car. Hasn't given us any issues yet other than a little stutter. I think that's just because it, I think it needs a fuel filter. So we're gonna go maintenance this one. So you'll probably be seeing this one on the channel too here soon. And if you look right here, I got my, my hover scooter here. And uh, the most reliable thing I have, nothing's wrong with this, but we can move on. Come around the corner. If you look right there on the floor, we have a straight pipe exhaust system that we'll be installing on a perfectly legal diesel. That'll be a Duramax. If you look right here, we have the shorty. And there is no need for me to explain what's wrong with this. It runs, it moves, um, it makes noise. Um, but we are making a video on it right now. So you guys will see this video very soon. As far as I can say, that's all the stuff we have going on in the shop as of right this second. Lots of things. Like I said, I can't just get a simple weekend of, oh, let me come to the shop and just change my oil. That never happens. For those of you mechanic guys out there who have your shop at the home, I'm sure you, you know where I'm talking about. There's never just a weekend of nothing. It's always something. And for those of you guys that are watching the uh, channel, just bear with us. We're trying to get videos made. So uh, we will have some coming up. We got this one. We got the one we're about to make on the truck and we'll have we'll have more coming like i said but we may end up changing up so we'll be more of a you know what's going on in the shop and you guys just kind of follow around and, and you get to see what, what we're doing um, it won't be as many you know how to change the oil in this uh, we will still do that but probably going to die down on that because it's very hard for me to keep up with that while taking care of everything that goes through this shop so it'll probably just be samuel following me around working on Samuel's stuff because his stuff stays in here more than anyone else's. So uh, you'll see a lot of his vehicles in here, especially his red truck and until he sells it. That's what's going on in the shop, you guys. Bear with us and enjoy the, the upcoming videos. I'll see you guys soon. So always like and subscribe. See you next time.